Hey guys, Tarek from Cyclone FTV, and we're going to do a real quick video here on updating the flight controller. Uh, this is an F4 Revo flight controller. Uh, it's a 20 by 20 stack, and it does seem to give somebody, uh, some people a little bit of trouble, only because they keep uh, trying to update the firmware. It gets a little confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a real quick video on how to do that and what I, what I normally do. But to understand that, I'm going to show you the uh, zoomed-in version, the microscope version of this board. Okay, so here we go. So right here underneath, if you look at the board from the right side up, right? So there's our USB port right there, okay? If you flip it over and you look right here, you're going to see this area that's labeled boot. All right, now this is what I would normally do because I like to move quickly and then go on to the next thing. So in this case, if you do not touch these two together, most people just sit there and hold the pins down. If you don't touch those two together, you will not be able to do a um, firmware update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some flux right here and get that ready. And I'm just going to quickly solder that piece, okay? And I'm going to try to do it in such a way where I can hold this in place. And then I'll show you guys exactly what to do. And don't worry about the flux that's running around there. It's not going to be a big deal. But what I want to do so I basically want to come right here and just get these two to mesh. So let me just, i got enough flux there, so it's going to take me just a sec. And once I know that they are together, and I'm doing this with that, there we go, boom. That's it right there, okay? So that's what we want. Once we do that, now I will change uh, the screen and go back to Betaflight here. So once we do that, then we can go ahead and do the following. So we're going to plug the board in now, right? And you're going to see what happens. It'll automatically go into DFU mode. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plug in the USB. Now you're gonna see it says DFU mode up here. So we wanna update the firmware. And what we wanna do is we're gonna to go to the Revo board. Okay, and we'll pick this one first. That's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and load firmware, and then we're gonna flash the firmware. Okay, it's gonna go through the erasing and everything else. Now, if you don't do this, this board's gonna sit there and go into COM3 or COM whatever, and then it's gonna go off, and then it's not gonna be found. Then it's gonna to try to get connected, but the drivers won't load. Zadig's not gonna fix that either. You've got to close those uh, boot buttons underneath, okay? So do that, and it'll be much easier for you, but if you, like most people, you keep pushing, they keep pushing this button right here, and if you keep pushing that button, it's not gonna help you either. So um, again, uh, just flip it over. Now you could solder wires to it and touch the wires together, and you'd be just the same. But for me, I just wanted to put a drop of solder on there, and then I'll take it off here in just a second. You'll see what I'm gonna do, and then we'll get going. So we're almost done with this one. Then we're gonna go ahead and go right into it, and I'll show you everything's in place, and you're good to go. And somewhere in here, I've got a coffee, so I'm gonna go get that in just a second. Let's clean up my bench here. All right, we're almost done. Okay, so we're done. So now what we have to do is we have to take, the, we have to take that off, right? So let me go ahead and remove the board, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything back over to where we're on the uh, microscope again. Now let's go ahead and put it back under. All right, so there's our, there's our boot button right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more flux now on this, uh, just because I wanna make sure I don't drop any of that solder on anything else. And then I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to remove this very quickly, hopefully, without any delays, any problems, I'm hoping. All right, I think we are good. Let me just make sure that that's clean right there. Uh, let me just make sure that there's nothing here. Okay, so that, I think that looks fine. There you go. I just wanna make sure that we have nothing uh, connecting these two together and it looks good. So I will go ahead now, take that over. And we'll go back to beta flight. So let me change the screen. And here we go. Uh, sorry, let me do this. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and plug the board in. And we are, should be good to go. And then we are in COM3, and we can go ahead and connect it. And there we go, everything's on as planned. Okay, and everything looks good. So we are good to go and we're back to normal, but if you tried to do a, a, a bootload again, it would not work, but there you go guys. Okay, so everything's set and hopefully that helps explain it. So if you have any questions, please, as always, email me, go to our website, use the form on there. And as always, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. I would always appreciate it. The support is always appreciated. Any videos you need, let me know by going to our, our website there and, uh, and uh, getting that done. So let me get those off. All right. Uh, other than that, God bless. Have fun, guys. Be safe. Enjoy time with your family. You never know how much time you have. So make the most of it, please. And I will see the rest of you flying soon. Peace.